has plenty of sunshine which makes it a perfect place for a solar powered car. There's a lot right there, sun right there. Truck runs on it. That's all you need. Coming up, see the truck invented by Valley students that takes gas out of the equation. Plus, how you can find all of your sick of high gas prices and who isn't. Valley High School <laughs> students may have a solution. Joe Dana gives us an exclusive look at what's believed to be the first combustion engine truck in the world that runs on sunlight and water. When sitting in the sun, this car can store energy that equals to about two miles of driving time a day. Not very much, but its creators say it's a good start. <laughs> It's really awesome. And it just looks weird. It's like a weird thing on wheels. It's show and tell at Central High. I don't think that's going to help everybody in, in the future. An S10 pickup that takes alternative fuel. Premium, unleaded water. Physics teacher Corey Waxman used existing scientific research to build the contraption. We convert solar energy to electricity. Which then powers a machine that takes the hydrogen out of the water. Which is then used, injected into the engine as fuel. An environmentally friendly transformation. The air that's coming out the tailpipe is cleaner than what we're breathing right now. Chrysler better watch out. <laughs> Though it drives like any other car, the hydrogen fuel usually only lasts a few miles. So if we run out of hydrogen, and we need to go a little bit further. We can press this little button and we're running on gasoline. The truck's slow rate of turning solar into hydrogen energy keeps it from becoming marketable. But Waxman and his students see themselves as pioneers. The motto is, how far did the first airplane fly? And the answer is not very far. If some great students and the high school teacher and some local businesses can put together a car that runs on water, Somebody ought to be able to develop a car that runs on water that is practical. In Phoenix, Joe Dana, 12 News. And you can see and hear more on just how the solar car functions at azcentral.com. You know, it's a start. you got to start somewhere. Oh, 93% of our days in May are sunny. Yeah.